Welcome to an INFJ ramble. I'm going to try and break it down in like five minutes or less, but the whole point of this video. So somebody left a comment on one of my videos and I always take time to analyze everything just because if it presented itself to me in my experience, there must be a reason for it, right? Hmm. So this person said that in my videos, I say, I feel and I think too much. Why wouldn't I say I feel? I think it's my freaking video and that's how I feel and that's how I think. Better than like just freaking parroting what someone else feels or thinks, you know, whatever. I use myself as a reference point and so I'm going to tell you how I feel and how I think. You know, it's funny. I've noticed, okay, so all my life, all my life, I've been like this people pleaser and I've been this like really like cordial and considerate person that puts everyone else's needs ahead of my own. And um, I did that for most of my life. I got to a point in life where I was completely drained and obliterated and I had nothing else to give. I couldn't put anyone ahead of myself anymore anymore because I had nothing I had nothing left of me to give do you understand so I had to kind of like do a 180 and start refilling my bank my, my spiritual bank so I could be full of my own currency again because I was just giving it away and I became bankrupt and I was down on the floor and I couldn't pick myself up and no one else is gonna do it right you got to do it. So I, I kind of flipped the, the coin and now it's all about taking care of me. And it's weird. It's like you have to reprogram your whole mindset and your whole state of mind. You have to kind of like eject what you've been like projecting for the past who knows how many years and then implement something new which is hey man I gotta take care of me first before I take care of you and even though I still understand and care and empathize and sympathize with you um, if you're doing something that is abusive or um, not in my best interest then I'm just gonna have to create a boundary and say no I will not allow that so yeah like I've noticed like people like to project their shit onto you I'm keeping it real man keeping it real I mean and it's tiring it's really tiring and I I just don't have the tolerance that I used to have for it anymore you know what I mean it's like when people have issues instead of like taking a step back and like assessing themselves they'll automatically target you as the cause or the trigger of their distress and that is so not it when have we INFJs gone out of our way to create chaos and distress I think our predominant function is harmony we don't even like conflict so why in the heck would we create conflict with someone else no they have conflict within themselves and then they're projecting it on you and by staying silent and quiet and allowing you're allowing them to keep projecting that on you instead of saying stop you know what I mean I there's something else tied into this something about it's not about you yeah and I think for most of our lives we haven't made it about ourselves we've made it about everyone else it's almost like we've enabled do you understand we've enabled them to not take responsibility or accountability for their stuff they're bullshit anyways take your power back yeah and know that you are powerful once you tap into it and then you can start becoming who you are and not allowing people to project their stuff onto you anymore because you are not an emotional punching bag or a verbal vomit garbage can sorry I know I sounded kind of angry but that's how I felt and I I don't want to say I pride myself, but I do value sincerity and authenticity. So I'm not going to pretend I am happy when I'm obviously feeling something else. Anyhow, if you learned something cool, if you didn't learn anything, 
cool. And yeah, it's my video, so I'm going to tell you how I feel and how I think. And if you don't like it, then don't watch it. Blessings to one and all. Amen.